This is lecture number 7, the extension for the previous lecture, module number 2, Information System Security, MIS 470. We were discussing about the substitution ciphers, okay, uh, the Caesar cipher. Now there is an example uh, to solve to just to clarify it more. It, uh, the example have been given like cipher text like for example WKLV, PH, blah blah up to EUHDN. Now, how can we uh, do the cryptanalysis for that one? You see, blank is translated to itself. Okay, how about English small words, diagrams and trigrams? Okay, like M is to be he, we, we or we, she, and so on. It means like uh, two two alphabet words and three alphabet words. Okay, any clue in the in the repeated mm, repeated or of WRR like this one so WRR for example what can be the WRR it can be like for example uh, C2 or add just like XYY do you have uh, XYY uh, like for example uh, yeah so what, what do you mean by XYY means like there is two letters are being repeated okay like for example X for X we have you put for example s okay so it can be like c it can if you replace the x with the t it can be like two and for example if we replace x with the o and the, and the double y like dd okay or we can it can be like add okay so this is just like a, a clue or a guessing for it now another one for example uh, for example with this with this case uh, they have they have put like uh, WRRS for example we select this one as the two T double O it's a guess it can be like odd it can be like C it can be like add but let's suppose we do we just like suppose T O O so, so from here we can guess that W is equal to T and R equal to O and R is equal to O right so wherever we find the R we need to replace with the O so that, that's the substitution okay we're replacing and W is T. So here the, the W is we replace with the T and R with the O. Here the W is this one. Okay. So how about O T? Means like O T the okay. Now we are we are trying to guess this one. Now we, we know that for example R is O and T is W is T. Let's suppose this guess is okay. This guess is fine. Okay. Now we need to guess the the letter, the Q. For example, there is a Q with that one. What can be the possible value from from A to Z? So we know that it can be like A O T odd. No, this is not a proper word. B O T bot can be C O T cord can be D O D dot can be F O T fort can be G O T god can be. So it could be like G O T D O T like this one. So this this can be the different words over there. So this is one of the example for cryptanalysis or how to break a ciphertext. If you have a ciphertext, you just intercept the ciphertext from any wire or from any CDs or from any uh, from any computer or from any hard, hard disk or on the on the communication line or in the cloud wherever you got the text. Now you are you want to try to cryptanalysis it. <coughs> Here the key. Okay. Now for example. The key for the cipher Caesar Caesar cipher can be like uh, it can be uh, like plain text plus uh, plus one plus two plus three plus four. It, so it can be the maximum possibility is 25. So what we can do it we can for example this is, we can replace this cipher text with a with a possible uh, with the possible values for example for, for, for the possible keys for example let's suppose if the key is one so we minus it for example l, l m and o p so so we uh, the uh, the equation will be is not like uh, is this will be like uh, you're not it, it will not be like adding but it will be like um, to minus it or just to to subtract it why because the the equation is going to be like a reverse of that one so the equation will be plain text. If you want to get, get the plain text, plain text will be like a c minus one. If I see some equation like a, in this equation, if you see this equation, so the ciphertext equal to ciphertext equal to p plus k. 
okay but now if you want to transport if you want to find this p so you need to shift the k with another sign okay so that becomes a c minus k so here here it will be like so c so if there is a one so it means like you need to shift one come one like come one back okay like so so you need the the value before p is o before h is g before h is g before w is v v w before p is o before h is g so g h o p c d h i v w g h t u v w j k j a and similarly and that w b becomes like v w a and b okay so this is the possible text with the key one this is a position although we are not getting the the correct answer why because this is still from the from the cipher text we did not get the proper answer okay now try for the two if we minus two we we two we come two step back like for example from p so n o p okay m n o p three step back four step back l m n sorry l m n o p and then we have a k l m n so similarly if we do if we need to put all the possibility till q p q so q is the last one before p so now we have we have a full round full complete round about this uh, cipher text script analysis in this one now we see what, which one is the correct answer what was the correct answer for this one did we get any uh, correct answer and this one is also called a brute force attack now here the first line is this is ambiguous we cannot understand this is not the third one is saying meet me after the toga party so it means that means that then now we have this have comprehensible and understandable and uh, text okay other texts are not understandable because these are not the the proper uh, uh, decryption okay or the crypt analysis so it means that in the third attempt we got the correct answer okay but since if you make uh, if you make a program in a computer okay the computer will give you all okay but uh, if you do it by the human intelligence or by the human okay so it will stop after this one because we understand that yes Yes, this is the correct uh, this is grammatically correct and uh, this is comprehensible and this is uh, legitimate like uh, sentences we can easily understand it and uh, comprehensible while the rest are just like uh, by the computer so computer generated all this for you or you can you can generate it manually but it will take more time so you can put some like a, uh, if you know any language like C++ or Java or any Visual Basic, anyone, you can easily implement this code for the crypto analysis and this, this can be one of the assignment for you. Okay. For the next one, uh, let's see what we have in the next one. Other substitution, what other substitution method we have, mm, like for example, write substitution in the, in the function of permutation. Okay. So, uh, so n one three equal to five means that c is transformed into e. So um, permutation, like uh, for example, if you how it becomes e. So if you start with a zero, b one, uh, c two, uh, d three, and d is uh, three. Okay, and e is and e e and the last you will get the e the 5 which is e okay so <clears throat> uh, so use a key say word okay for example there is a word like a p plain text is equal to a b c d f up to z and then key uh, key is a word is key is a word okay so another thing you can put the word like for example the, the first one wrd and then you start a b c to z okay so this is another kind of substitutions how about professional okay so if you put the professional okay and, uh, and and if you put the professional word here and then the other word for example if the professional p is already used you don't need to use in a in a sequence again okay similarly for this word we have already used the w so we don't we don't use the w over here we have used the o we don't use over here we use the R, we will not use the R, and we use the D, and we will not use the D over here. Okay, so this is another way of encryption. Counting and rearranging, say by three. 
okay so accounting and reading how we're going to do it the plain text is like this one okay and uh, we need the cipher text okay so for a they have used the a small a for b they have the d for c they have made the g now now we need to find that how they make this by counting for example uh, a is on the uh, a is on the first position okay so here every alphabet is uh, uh, is incremented by 3 for example if you start with the a so then you leave the three spaces like b c and then d then you leave the three spaces d, e f and then g then you leave the three spaces g h i and j then you leave the more two spaces uh, j i j k l and j i j k l m okay and similarly and so on okay and if you see the the polyalphabetic uh, cipher poly means many many alphabets when used any cipher based on substitution using multiple substitution alphabets okay this is this was uh, if you see some example of it so it will be more clearer uh, here you can see a machine a very systematic machine which is called enigma machine okay these were invented by the german engineer arthur Scherbius at the world war one okay is were used and how it works let's discover it they have some rotors over here there's some lamp board over here keyboard and plug board over here okay and this diagram show you the internal structure this is electromechanical rotor cipher machine so it means you you need uh, mechanical rounds and plus electrical city as well or the digital one the rotors are there first broken by the polish cipher bureau okay so um, the Poland uh, people, the Bureau, they, they broke it and how it works. Okay, the Germans were using this kind of uh, machine, Enigma machine for the World War I. Uh, broken due to the German procedural flaws, operator mistakes, okay, laziness, failure to systematically introduce changes in, uh, in sufferment procedures. Okay, so these were the some of the reason that how it got broke. Okay. So, Yeah, so we were discussing about the uh, Enigma machine. Okay, so uh, this machine, uh, if we if we see the uh, the internal structure, so here you can see many substitutions for the different letters. So this letter is substituted by this one, and then this one, and this one, and then it comes back in a different way. So the encryption and decryption goes in a, in a proper way. Mm, for example, the, the, these are the inputs over here: A, S, D, F. Okay and it's like a keyboard uh, we have asdf okay and these keyboards just like a um, uh, these words are substituted in a in a different method and according to your own uh, procedure if you see some examples so it will be more easier to understand okay uh, here uh, in this in this enigma machine you can see the the alphabets over here uh, they are they are just making around just like a, uh, the previous uh, caesar cipher machine okay the next slide, the next thing is the crypt analysis of substitution ciphers. Okay, uh, substitution cipher can be you can be done by some guess or strategy or mathematical skill. Uh, Seem secure on the sur on the surface. Why? Because there is 26 possible different uh, decipherment. Uh, for example, like uh, it starts from one to from zero to 25 or from zero to 26 uh, using a brute force attack because the brute force attack is just like a uh, brute this is the brute force attack if i show you uh, for this is a brute force attack by you can have a all possible uh, outcomes uh, how about the frequency distribution analysis of english language okay as i told you that uh, high uh, frequency is about the letter e and uh, and then we have i and then we have uh, o then we have uh, like a second number is t okay so most of the uh, more you can see the frequency by this one you can see that you can take the cipher text analyze it and see which which letter has a high frequency so any letter which occurs frequently you can guess it can be like a e or a t and so on so the letter e t o and occurs more often than j q x with a good computer and nf cipher text 
uh, may take an hour yeah so short cyphertext message give attack a little to work with so so thanks for watching and we will have a lecture number eight in the uh, next uh, session thank you